Every day the world wakes up, hungry for greater amounts of energy. But how do we meet escalating world demand without further jeopardizing the health of our planet? These concerns have sparked a closer look at nuclear power, a remarkably clean, efficient, and potent energy. A 1,000 megawatt nuclear power station uses about 24 tons of uranium each year. That's less than two truckloads a month. A coal-fired station of similar size burns trainloads of coal, or about 3.2 million tons a year, contributing directly to CO2 levels. The time is right for nuclear power. Over the next decade, the number of reactors worldwide will grow from 442 to over 600. When properly designed and operated, nuclear plants are safe, efficient, and reliable. Although plentiful in the world, uranium is experiencing a supply crunch. Highly concentrated uranium is rare. Fortunately, the Athabasca Basin, a huge area in Canada, contains an abundance of rich uranium deposits. In fact, Ore here contains an impressive 5 to 25 percent uranium oxide. While most ore mined elsewhere in the world measures in at less than 0.1 percent. And prices are dramatic. 25 percent Athabasca ore is worth 40,000 to 70,000 US dollars per ton compared to $50 to $400 per ton from other regions. At an average gold or diamond mine, values range from only $200 to $500 per ton. Right now, the basin supplies 30% of the world's uranium. But that figure is expected to jump as it is largely underexplored, yet contains huge deposits worth billions of dollars. Two of the world's largest uranium companies work here, Canada's Chemico and France's Arriva. Can Alaska is also a strong player, with millions of acres of well-placed land holdings. With 19 projects on the go, and three years of exploration completed, Can Alaska is prepped and ready for significant discoveries. West MacArthur, a property located in the heart of Cameco's holdings in the prolific Wollaston uranium belt, holds special interest. After encouraging results, the site has attracted a development partner, Japan's giant Mitsubishi Corporation. Over three and a half years, Mitsubishi will fund a further $11 million of exploration here, earning 50% interest. Korea's Hanwha Corporation has committed to fund $19 million of exploration on the nearby Cree East project. Directing Can Alaska's exploration team is Dr. Carl Shimon, a senior geologist who spent 20 years with Arriva, helping it discover and develop the basin's second largest mine, Cigar Lake. As the world's storehouse of premium uranium, at a time when practical solutions are needed most, the Athabasca Basin holds an exciting future. Together, Can Alaska, 
and its development partners are confident that newly discovered targets here will yield remarkable results. Today, and for generations to come.